What's going on guys? Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with a deck profile for you guys. Now we've run through all the crossing generation stuff and I'm really really happy you guys have given us comments. I've already made changes to some of my, to my deck. I've already passed along the information you guys have given to the others and they're changing their decks and testing out some of the stuff that was suggested. So thank you. As always we want you to like and subscribe. We do have a new button down over in the bottom right hand corner that will let you subscribe if you're watching or we just appreciate that you like and leave us a comment we worked hard to give you guys buddy fight videos five days a week and we'll get right on to this so as you can see this is a fun deck profile because this is a bit of a classic deck uh with some newer cards in it every now and then uh this is my captain answer deck uh this is one of the new well not new decks but one of the first decks i tried to get a hold of and i just now completed it uh a little bit ashamed of that, that I just now got something mm -hmm. like Captain Answer completed. So we're going to hop right into it. My buddy is, of course, Captain Answer. Uh, I got a McCurl flag. I wanted generic flag, and I thought it's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, symbolic if they he has Captain Answer uh, team, uh, in a flag with Captain Answer. So, of course, the buddy is going to be four copies of Captain Answer. He's a 524, lets you transform by paying two. His ability says reveal the name a card name a card type, spell a monster, pay a gauge, reveal the top. If it is, I get double attack. Yep. So we play four of that. We play four copies of Captain Answer Final Mode. He is a size 3, that's an 8 to 5, transform cost of 2, a call cost of 3. Much like Captain Answer, you, if you have 2 or more superheroes in your drop zone, pay a gauge, declare either monster or spell, reveal the top card. Uh, if the, you get the top card, you get to destroy a monster in the opponent's field, and you get double attack. Moving right along, we have 4 Decker Drum SD. Uh, he is a size zero. That's two one uh, two one one. Counter ability: Put this card from your field into your drop zone. If you do, destroy a size one or less monster in your opponent's field. So he's for field control because we don't run a whole lot of spells. In fact, we're running a forty-two monster deck and only eight spells. So we need as much move or field control as we can gather in this deck. So we're running four of him. Running four Mock Braver. Uh, Mock Braver is a size one, uh, one credit one four. Uh, counter during an attack on your opponent's turn. Pay one gauge. If you do call this monster from your hand to the center and change the attack uh, to this card. Uh, next up, we got Project Gunner. Uh, we're running four of him because we can pitch him to gauge two, and that's only for transform. We can transform him to a very large amount of the deck, so he's always going to be used for getting gauge. Uh, next up, we're using Cyber Police uh, Side Watcher. The reason why I'm running him is he's a 10,000 uh, beat stick, so he gets over everything. That even includes a thorough, which I was honestly surprised I forgot about this. Uh, just being the 10k alone means he can clear almost practically any monster in the game at the moment. Save for a few exceptions, but for the most part, it's him. He can clear anything. Uh, next up, we got Cyber Police Heroic Blader. Uh, he has move. So this lets me ensure that I can protect my center. Uh, we got three of the Green Ranger from Q4. Uh, he has Transform. He has decent clearing power out of four. Not quite that magic number. I would be running the Red Ranger, but I don't have any more outside of my Q5 deck. Uh, we are running two Grand Ruler uh, Sill Barriers uh, at a 2-2 two, two for 2. He doesn't hit anything, but when he comes into play in your transform, you get to draw a card, so free draw is always good. Uh, next up, we're running three Rescue Dresses Drums. Uh, he's a 5-2-5, five, five, a very typical size 2 stats. Call cost of pay gauge when this card attacks and destroys an opponent's monster. If you're transformed, stay in this card. So it helps me clear the field and then gets to restand and attack again. Uh, next up, 
Three Rescue Dragon Wave Slicer, uh, 523, size 2, no call costs. When a hero road on your opponent's field destroys a card on your... Bleh, excuse me. When a hero world on your field destroys a card on your opponent's field, deal one damage to your opponent. This ability only activates once per turn and move. So some minor burn also with move, which helps us again protect the center. Uh, next up, we're running two Captain Answer Impact Monsters. Uh, I'm going to have to read this one. Pardon me, guys. It's a bit, this one's really wordy, so I actually have to pick it up and look at it. So this is a 725 size 3 with a call cost of pay 3 gauge. Put a superhero monster from your field into your drop zone. He's got counter during your turn. Clear spell, monster spell. Put the top card of your deck in your drop zone. If that card's the card type, put that card in your hand, destroy a monster in your opponent's field, and it gets double deck. It also has impact transform, pay through the gauge, put a monster, put a card you are transformed into, into the drop zone. So this lets me swing for potentially a third and fourth time if I only have one, just the Captain Nancer or anything else in the field. And lets me potentially draw a card or and destroy a monster. So very, very good. Uh, finishing out, we're on to the spells. We're running four. I've seen through moves. Very typical null spell. And then I am running the man who answers to justice. Uh, I'm running four of this because this lets me gauge one and then stack my ability for when I get Captain Answer by letting me look at the top card of the deck and keeping it on the top or on the bottom. So guys, that's my Captain Answer fun deck. Hope you like it. Uh, it's pretty fun. I actually got to play test with it quite a bit. Uh, it did decently against some of the newer decks. I took it against uh, Force Cosmo Dragoon. Did okay. Um, I can see room for improvements. I could definitely get like a red instead of a green and hyper energies. But overall, this is just a fun deck, guys. I really hope you enjoy this video. And again, please like and subscribe. We love making content for you. Thanks again.